Well, one of the great things about using online learning resources, especially with the OLI modules, as in your course, is that we have a way to instrument or, or collect data on students as they're learning. Mm -hmm. So we can go to look at the data online to see what your students have, um, how they've performed, what they've done. And remember, we also created a pre-test and a post-test mm -hmm. so that we can compare students' performance before they used your modules to their performance after they used the modules. Um, this can be really helpful because we can see how they improved. Right. We can also see the areas where they still could use some more support and that can help us refine the modules themselves. Right. I'm glad you thought of setting up that pretest because as it, you know, if I only taught using traditional methods, I wouldn't have remembered to set up ah, that pretest. Okay, <laughs> great. Yeah. Well, maybe we should take a look. At sure. the data. So here is the post test data. So you can see the number of students who completed it in the last version that this course was used. And this part here shows the percent of students getting each question correct. So you can really see on some of the items, they did really well. Yes. But there are a few items where students' performance was not so good. Yep. So sometimes what is a pretty efficient strategy is to first target the questions where students' performance was not so high mm -hmm. and see if you, based on your experience teaching and your knowledge of the subject matter, can identify what might be going on if there was a misconception okay. or if maybe the material was confusing or if there's something we might want to do differently next time. Yep. So I think we can look at this question here. This is a question that um, is, what is the value returned by the following function? Mm -hmm. That's a common uh, problem. Students usually get confused between the function print and return, a return statement. Ah. So it's actually expected. Mm -hmm. I try to address this in the, in the class, um, but the fact that it's still, uh, you know, it, it still shows itself in the post-test makes me think maybe we should address it even more carefully. We could. Now, what we can do is we can go back to, do you know where in the course this material would have uh, been addressed? Right, the, the initial module. Okay, so this is the module where that right. concept would be introduced, yes. right? This learning dashboard page shows students' performance and their learning during that initial exposure to that topic, so maybe we can dig in and see, is one of these more relevant to what we just talked this about? This may be the part. Okay. Let's try that first. So this shows us, in this area, students were answering questions about defining and using their own straight line functions, mm -hmm. using built-in functions. Yeah, the built-in functions would be most likely okay. the place. Yeah. So we can click on here and see students' performance on those items in the module was pretty strong, right. except for on this one. Let's check that. Yeah, yeah, let's view it in the course. So that's an interesting phenomenon that when they're first learning about this topic and they're focused on it, they seem to be doing quite well. Yeah. <laughs> but then when some time goes on, right. um, they need to retain that conceptual understanding and transfer maybe to a new situation like that print right. function. Right. Um, it's a common challenge for students learning to retain and transfer what they've learned. Mm -hmm. So giving them even more practice and more distributed practice might I be a see. good strategy. Okay. So I could think of injecting uh, similar questions in other modules? Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then they learn it here and they're doing well. Yeah. But then you can come back to it and check their understanding right. and help them um, practice it and refine it. Right. We could see then if you make that change if the post-test performance looks better. Exactly, yeah, let's time. try to do that next time, yeah.